Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to do a highly requested video after my empties where I made brief mention of the Monate hair care products. Many of you asked that I would do a dedicated video to about the products. So this will be my only dedicated video to the Monate products. However, that's not to say that in my empties or my favorites, I may not, I, I might mention that one of them is in my empties or my favorites because I know that this is a touchy, uh, this is a really touchy subject when it comes to an MLM. But I want, I don't understand why it's so much so for these hair care products because my essential oils that I buy, I buy Young Living Essential Oils. They, that's an MLN. Dutera is an MLM. Uh, you have Stella and Dot. You have Silpata. You have uh, Pampered Chef. You have so many. I buy a Wellex cleaning products. And, you know, it doesn't really bother me to buy from them at all. I don't think they are what they used to be. And in particular, this company, which I'm going to briefly just talk about the company itself. Uh, Monate's products are all made in the USA. They are based in Miami. Unfortunately, they are not shipping internationally yet, but they do in Canada. And um, they have a 210 square foot FDA registered facility in Miami. And their products are vegan, gluten, cruelty free. They are free of all harsh chemicals. They are naturally based, however they are not organic, and all of their packaging is eco-friendly. So that's just a little bit about the company and really um, I have seen the reports on the Better Business Bureau and the reports you're seeing on the Better Business Bureau are not about the products. They are about the customer service. But the Better Business Bureau also states when you look these things up that they have um, made Monate aware of these complaints and they are working on them. Can I verify that? No, I cannot. Okay, and I am also going to state in the beginning of my video that I do not think that any product is a miracle. The only miracles I am aware of come from God, and the only miracle that I am sure of is the miracle of life. That is it. No product that I have ever used, be it makeup, skincare, or hair has been a miracle worker for me. So if you are looking for that product that is going to bring a miracle into your life, I don't think you're going to find it. All right, my friends? So I also want to state that nothing about me as a human being is going to change because I have decided to become a market partner with Monate. They are not going to change my channel. They are not going to become the focus of my channel. They are products that I was impressed with. So I decided I wanted the whole package. I became a market partner. I have no idea where it's going to take me. I don't even know how long I will do something like this. But right now, I really like these products. And when I find products that I like, whether I'm a marker partner or I'm not, I like to come and share them. I believe that you are all adults. I believe that you will take my information, you will think about it, you will research it, and then you will make your own decision as to whether you want to be a part of this. Now, I realize that people take my word as gospel, and that's why I want to reassure you that I am not going to change who I am. The core of me is still the same human being. Nothing about me is going to change. I am not here to deceive any of you. I have not decided that all of a sudden, hmm, let me see how I can take all of their money. Seriously, my friends, it's not at all who I am. Let's talk all about right. the products. The products themselves are considered 
age-defying for hair, anti-aging for hair, age prevention for hair. Whatever wording you choose, but it is an anti-aging system for the hair because our hair does age. And there are many things in our life that will cause us to lose hair. Some are genetics, others are hormones, and DHT being one of them, DHT's only job in the body, and it usually is a derivative of testosterone. It's more prevalent in men. However, women do have small amounts of it, and it all depends on what your ovaries do with it. That's as far as I'm going to go about the DHT, but DHT's only job is to kill off your hair follicle and your hair follicle is needed for hair. You are never going to have more hair follicles than you already have. You were born with your set amount. No products are going to create more. It's just like the pores on your body. You're never going to have more pores. You're never going to have less pores. Okay. I need to state that because I have seen a couple of videos where the people are saying, Oh, the phone, the phone. The phone. It's like the plane, the plane, the plane. Okay, so uh, we've touched on the DHT. So that is, um, okay, that is that. All right, so the first product I am going to talk about is the Rejuvenique. And the reason why I'm going to talk in depth a few minutes about this one is because the Rejuvenique is in all of the products, okay? So the Rejuvenique is their oil. And this has a proprietary blend. So a little blurb about the Rejuvenique Oil Intensive. It's an invigorating proprietary blend of 11 unique molecular ingredients, which includes vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, beta carotene, omega-6 fatty acid, nutrients, and amino acids suitable for all skin and hair types. So this oil can be used by everyone, even if you have fine hair. Now I will say that I think people will probably overuse this product. Um, you don't have to use a lot of this. So it contains Capixel, which is and this is powered by red clover extract. It's a gentle emollient that reduces scalp's inflammation and it strengthens and thickens hair and it also hydrates the scalp to stimulate natural noticeable hair growth, okay? And then the next one is Pro Cataline. And this one here is from Pea Extract. And this is a rich source of secondary metabolites, which deliver healthy nutrients to promote hair growth, reduces the production of DHT. Remember, all DHT wants to do is kill off your hair follicle. And that's a hormone that contributes to hair loss, plus powerful antioxidants to combat premature thinning, as well as protect color and shine. These products are also color proof, color safe. Uh, and one other thing you've heard me mention in videos from a year ago, uh, before ever knowing anything about these products, about scalp health and about uh, getting control of your thinning before it's too late. So I think people, I think women that are, especially in the perimenopause stage, this is a time for you to address your hair. And so let's get back to the third thing, which is Crotosorb. And this here is a powerful formula that packs in an intense defense against oxidative stress. And it protects from the sun's damaging rays and UVB damage. Cortisorb also preserves hair's natural pigmentation and keeps strands stronger and locks in moisture. So the, the reason why I mentioned those three is because um, this is a very unique blend of oil and there are some other oils that are in it that I'll touch on in a few minutes. But I wanted to tell you there are things that the Monate line does not carry. It's an absolute no for them. That would be parabens, sulfates, DEA and MEA. No phthalates, uh, which can be toxic to the skin. No PEG, no phenyl oxy oxyethanol, and that again, irritating for the skin and eyes. No ethanol, no petrochemicals, no glutens, no sodium chloride, no harsh salts, no harmful colors, and no harmful fragrances. Everything you smell in here 
is from essential oils, okay? So those are the no's. You will never find those ingredients in these products. All right, so the oils that are also in here outside, excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the other oils that are in the Rejuvenique oil intensive outside of the three major. You're getting Abyssinian is also in here and Abyssinian is, theirs is sourced out of Africa. It mimics the effects of silicone. So that's why you get the shine and the beautiful uh, finish with this product because Abyssinian oil, and I believe if I'm not mistaken, that is what's in Lanza's healing oil that I love so much. Um, but it also, it has a unique combination of fatty acids and um, it protects and coats each strand of hair and it also lubricates the hair deep into the follicles so Abyssinian is a very very nice oil for your hair and skin it also has baobab which is the baobab tree and it's been grown for centuries in India and Africa it has it's a very exotic oil and it's very rich in antioxidants and palmitic acid and vitamin F baruti baruti oil you've seen all of these oils on my channel I have used these oils on my skin for years and the baruti is the fruit of Africa and it's known also as the tree of life and it is one of the world's richest sources of beta carotene which moisturizes and nourishes the skin and hair and then the camellia oil or camellia oil is also known as the tea seed oil which is ultra hydrating oil and it is from china it cleans the scalp and pampers the dry strands it has an abundance of polyphenols and vitamin e and a little tidbit for you coco chanel was obsessed with camellia oil she was obsessed with it and then we have carrot seed oil that I have been using for years I put carrot so seed oil if you all remember uh, some of my very first few videos were about essential oils I am a firm believer in essential oils I think the only person that really hates essential oils is Paula's Choice um, puts down every single product that has essential oils in it I have been using them for years I have never had any skin irritations from them nothing they've never bothered my breathing um, that's not to say that some people are not sensitive to them but for me essential oils are a very essential part of my anti-aging I have been using two to three drops of carrot seed oil in my moisturizer my serums body and face for years so carrot seed oil is also in here which is rich in beta carotene it's a vitamin A it's a natural source of vitamin A and I think I started using it because I was always so sensitive to retina A products but now I'm using those uh, okay so it's rich in vitamin A and the, uh, which helps the condition of the scalp plus ALA oil which is good for anti-inflammatory protection it also has Monoy and I think Joelle really loves this oil I think it's part of the island it is selectively sourced from the warm tropics of Tahiti it's a restorative oil rich in omega-3s and fatty acids it heals damaged and promotes growth from the root and then there's also metaform oil this oil is sourced uh, from the Pacific Northwest of the USA and it is named for its flower resemblance to the white foam of the or ocean metal foam oil is another outstanding source of omega-9 fatty acids which help with shine and sheen and let me tell you your hair will shine using these products and then last but not least is the moringa oil which is ancient Egyptians prized moringa oil for its nourishing properties thanks to the antioxidants and vitamin E which help combat skin fatigue plus clean and purify the scalp so that is about as in-depth as I am going to get about the ingredients in these products um, and the reason why I started with the oil is because as I mentioned this oil is in most the majority of these products uh, it's even in the hairspray it's not I don't believe it is in the baby's line I would have to check on that but I don't think it is in the baby's line anyway so I thought I would go ahead and start 
and just introduce you to the Monet Black, which is the men's line, but women are using it also. And the Monet Black, you can buy these in sets or you can buy them individual. You can be a VIP, which means you will get 15% off. It also means that you get samples and you get free products from time to time. You do have to commit to three orders with the VIP. There's no escaping it. VIP, three orders, free samples, free shipping, free products, and you can order whatever you want. You don't have to order a set. You can order individual items, but you do have to commit to the three months. So if you're someone who's not good with commitment or you, you buy things impulsively and you think you can return or stop something, it's not that easy. And I think that's where a lot of the customer complaints are coming, but they're very, they state it all right there under the VIP information. You can also just buy retail. So it's up to you with retail, you pay, uh, you don't get the discount and the 15% and you also pay uh, for shipping. All right. And if you're a Canadian shopper, there's a Canadian flag on the top of anybody's website that you choose to buy from or through. Um, you just hit the Canadian flag. Also, another question that hasn't been asked of me, do I ship the products? I have nothing to do with your ordering and I have nothing to do with the shipping. I am here just to educate you on the products and uh, to help you perhaps select what you might need. If you have questions, I may be able to find them out. Remember, I'm very new to this. I've not dealt with anybody from this company at all. I just went in and ordered the big guns. I went hog wild and order them all so that I can try each and every product for you and myself so that I can talk honestly about them. So the men's line Louis is using and he actually is liking it very much. Uh, and I will tell you his only um, things that he has mentioned to me as I talk about it. Now the men's line, which is also used by women, has 30% of the essential ingredients to help promote hair growth of the, reju the Rejuvenique um, products, in uh, ingredients are, it's at a level of 30% in the men's line. Also in the intensive repair line, which I will show you in a minute. So Louis is using the shampoo. This is a two in one, so it is your conditioner. I feel as a woman, and I will say that Lou has also said, his hair feels so clean after using this that he does put a little bit of my Revitalize conditioner on because um, he just feels he needs a little bit of conditioner. So he is using the shampoo and conditioner in one. He does like this. I think it has a little bit of peppermint, but I think there's also rosemary in some of these products. But he says that it gives you just a real cool icy feel to the head when you're using this product. He's also using the shave cream in the men's line and this here is also in, infused with the Rejuvenique and the only thing he has said about this he thinks he gets a great shave with it but he is very used to a white foamy shave cream and he wears a goatee and he has some sideburns so he likes that as a guideline but he's also said to me yesterday or just last night that he's getting so used to it now that it actually, he gets such a, a, a precise shave from it, he's, he's getting his sideburns more straight and he's able to get a cleaner edge on his goatee. So I don't know if that's just a visual thing or if it's the actual product, but he does like it. He says it's very concentrated and, and a little is needed and that is true of all the products I'm finding out. He's also using the aftershave and I will tell you that after he uses it, his skin is like butter, like a baby's behind and um, he likes it and I don't the smell is not offensive or strong for his hair he is using the groom styling clay which he does like it gives incredible this is a matte finish but he still has incredible shine to his hair and I know that in the past I have bought him so many different paste and some of them really dull his hair out this one is not and just for the record Lou has salt and pepper hair his hair is black with gray and he is German and Irish, so he has a wave to his hair, but as it grows, it grows out and gets very curly, and in humidity, it poofs out. So we keep him what he calls high and tight. When I cut his hair, 
he um, likes it very, very, very tight and close. So he wears a short hair st uh, style and he just combs it all back. Okay, so that is the men's line and that is Lou's opinion of the men's line. Now, the other line that has the 30% of the essential ingredients is the Intense Repair Conditioner and Shampoo. I use this in Sunday's video that's coming up. It's my um, skin clinical. Uh, it's going to be a giveaway, my friends. I didn't want to tell you that. Anyway, uh, Sunday's video will have the hair that's in there is, is this product. I need to do my camera or it's going to shut off. So if you want to see, I think I'm going to do that from now on because I don't plan on talking about Monate in all of my videos. But what I will do, because so many of you do ask me questions about my hair, uh, I think underneath each video I will just put the products I used that day so that you can actually see the results that I get from them. So Sunday's video, just look underneath all my videos and I'll put down what Monate products I actually used on my hair in those videos. And um, maybe a little blurb of how I feel about them. Just, just so it's not so in your face to the people that it really uh, upsets for this type of video, okay? So anyway, the Intense Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like these. Now, with Monet products, uh, I find this to be true only in the beginning when you start using them. Uh, I'm not doing it anymore. Well, I didn't do it this morning with the products that I used this morning. But with Monate, you wet your hair, and most people will have a tremendous years worth of buildup on their hair. So with Monate, the first shampoo that you do in that shower, all in one day you're going to do this. So the first shampoo, while you're standing in your shower, you're going to put this on your hair, the shampoo. It's not going to really suds up great for you. Just keep working it through your hair, leave it on for two minutes, rinse, and then do a second wash right away, and you will see that the products will foam up. Leave that second wash on for two minutes, rinse it off, Go to your conditioner, and for conditioners, I have always done my conditioner the same way. I work it through my strands, I massage it in, I take a wide tooth comb, and I go ahead and I comb that out, uh, comb it through so it saturates all my strands. And I know that some of you will find this gross, but I did want to share this with you because I know a lot of people are afraid of the detox. I want to show you, this is yesterday's hair fallout, and I'm going to keep it on the white napkin so that you can see it. All right, that is the fallout that I had yesterday, and that was a wide tooth comb combing my conditioner through my hair. So that is the hair that fell out of my head yesterday. Now this is today's, doing the same thing, using different products, but I um, combed through the conditioner just as usual. And this is the hair fallout from today. So I'm actually noticing less fallout. When I would take a shower, I would get a ton of fallout. Now, I also want to say something about people who don't wash their hair a lot. You may see an excessive amount of hair fall out when, that's, when you do that, when you wash that way. That's because your hair gets trapped in your product, and even though you brush through, there's going to be it's hair stuck in there. So, um, I wash my hair daily and I still had more fallout than I'm having now. So the detox, I think it happens for some and, and maybe not for everybody. But I will say I've always used, um, I've been using Colorproof for a very long time, which is a very good line. So maybe my buildup wasn't as bad. I don't know. Anyway, that, uh, I do like the intensive repair. This would, now this does not, you will see in the video. Uh, Sunday. It does not weigh the hair down because I know people are concerned about I have fine limp hair that does nothing. I think that you need to really rinse your products out when you have very fine hair. Rinse them out really well because uh, even the slightest a bit left behind is going to weigh down your hair. But this does not weigh my hair down at all as you will see in Sunday's video. It left my hair very shiny, very moisturized. And again, 30% more of the growth ingredients that Monet, Monet is known for. All right, so the next product, I'm going to, I'll touch on the shampoo, the, uh, con, the hairspray because it's um, my least favorite of the line. 
okay? And I shook it up really well. You do have to shake all of their products that are in aerosol because of the rejuvenate blend that is in them. So I have used this three times now and I don't like it. So there you have it, my friends. I am a marker partner and I do not like this product. Why don't I like it? It's not because it's a bad product. I wanna state that up front. It is because it is not my style of hairspray. I don't like hairspray that I can feel on my hair, although it gives incredible shine. I feel it on my hair and I don't like that. And so I, this for me is not going to work. However, somebody who with, has bushier hair than me that doesn't like their hair full but wants their hair to stay in place, maybe you'll like this. Maybe you won't even have the results I have. Remember, I'm a snob when it comes to hairspray. I don't like my hairspray to be known on my hair. I like my hair to bounce around. I like the curls to stay, but this one here three times just not has worked, has not worked for me, but not because it's a bad product because I don't care for this style of hairspray. Okay. And we shall move on now. So now today, what did I use in my shower? So today's products in my hair, uh, I used the Renew Shampoo. Now the Renew Shampoo is the very first I tried and it's what sold me on the line. This is the hydration line. However, I will say, I feel if you are somebody who has really, really, really dry hair and you are focusing on growth, you will want to go with the Intense Repair Shampoo. I think it actually moisturized, moisturized my hair more and it, it is intense, so it's meant to. Uh, so the Renew Shampoo is a hydrating shampoo uh, works great. Absolutely fabulous. Now today I only used, I poured about a larger than a nickel in my hand, no more than a quarter in my hand. And I just did one of this and I patted it on my hair and I just went to town. The lather was incredible. I didn't do a second time. I did leave it on for the two minutes. All the products that you shampoo and conditioner, leave them on. Let them soak into those follicles. Let them clean them out. Get all that buildup out so that you can start seeing healthier hair and scalp. Okay, so the Renew Shampoo I like. Uh, I feel that the Renew Shampoo could probably be used by anyone because it is not heavy, okay? And then the conditioner I used today is the Revitalize Conditioner. This is a volumizing con conditioner, and that's why I think for those of you who have fine hair but it's dry, the Renew would be good for you with the Revitalizing because you're getting just enough conditioning in this without um, any way down. I don't think any of these products weigh the hair down because I don't think they have ingredients in them that are known to weigh hair down. So the revitalizing conditioner is okay for me, but it's not going to be enough for me on daily use. So that's why I will mix things up a little bit or I will bring in the moisturize, the uh, replenishing mask because I use, I will put this on my scalp and then I'll put this on the ends when I feel I want to give them a little bit of moisture. Now today I didn't use this, I just used the Renew, the Revitalize, and then when I got out of the shower, and I will be honest with you, I hate these types of products, hate them. I never use them, and when I do, when I've tried, I spend, I've spent hundreds of dollars on these types of products that never work for me. I give them to my friends, and if they were all sitting here, they'd be going, yep, she does. Um, this one here did not, it, it didn't make my hair feel gunky. I hate when I feel a coating on my hair. There was no coating left on my hair using the Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And again, has the um, oils in it from the Rejuvenique. So, so this here I'm gonna continue to use and see how it goes. You but know, another thing I wanted to say about this company and how they develop their products before I move on to the Rejuva Beads is um, they don't boil their products. When you are using uh, really high quality ingredients and you boil them, it's kind of defeating the purpose because you're taking all the vitamins, the minerals, and all the good nutrients out of it. It's just like food when you overcook a vegetable you're taking all the really good vi vi vitamins out, vitamins, uh, good vitamins out, and by steaming them, you they remain intact when you just lightly steam something. So uh, these products are never ever boiled, and they do use reverse osmosis 
grade water. It's a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical grade water because there are no contaminants, metals, or anything to interfere with this product being as natural as it can be. Now there are some preservatives in here, but the preservatives they use are as close to their natural source as they can be. Okay, you can find all this online if you if you want to really research more. And um, everything is made in small batches. They're not they're not overproduced. They don't you know they don't just make them and let them sit on the shelf for years. They're all done in small batches. Okay, so now we're going to touch on the Rejuva beads, and this is their split end mender, and I believe this is one of their newer products. Um, the claim is that uh, the this has a magnetic force, so when you put it on, they bond to each other. So they're going to close your split ends up split ends up and it is said that they actually can heal. Now I've not really used this a whole lot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my hair straight a couple of days because that's when my split ends basically show and I'm going to really pay attention to that but I have read reviews on this that say this and it's fairly new product so um, but so far the reviews have been really good on this and I did use it on a ponytail one day and the ponytail did look really nice. And what I really liked about it is when I went out in the humidity, they didn't flare all up. So that magnetic force is at least enough to keep the split ends intact. All right, blow cream serum I've talked about. I like this, uh, great shine and uh, really nice for those of us who have really frizzy hair. I am hope I can't wait to get to Florida to see how these things work in humidity. And if you're somebody who does live in warm climate, humid, and you're using these products, go ahead and let us know uh, how they work. So I'm gonna to touch base on the volume line. Now the volume line, I know a lot of people will think because they have fine hair and lifeless hair, they, they're gonna need this, but um, you know, I think re uh, volumizing shampoos are, are really nice, but they almost act as a clarifier, okay? So I am a firm believer that you need to condition the strands. So keep that in mind if you are going to go with the Revive shampoo, which is your volumizer, because I think you are going to need to treat your ends a little bit, okay? At least with the oil or the leave-in conditioner or the mask, or any one of the conditioners, I, I would go past the Revitalize and I would probably get something that's a little more intense, even if you only want to use it a couple times a week. But um, volumizing shampoos in any line always make me think Clarify, okay? But this one, again, has no harsh chemicals in it. They are not calling it their clarifier. That's just my professional opinion, okay? So this one here does add volume and it, it, it also has the, um, it's infused with Rejuvenique, and it is to enhance, thicken, and invigorate. All right, and the, in that, I would recommend Restore Leave-In Conditioner, again, or one of the others. They also have two volumizing products, and I have used the Reshape Root Lifter, and I used it in Sunday's video, the one that's coming up so you'll be able to see. Um, you all know that I absolutely, my, my most favorite is the Moroccan Oil Root Boost, but uh, this one did not weigh my hair down. It did not make it feel grungy and dirty. That's what I don't like about most accessory hair products. Um, so you'll see the results that I got from that. I'm going to continue to use it. This one product I have not used. It's the Moxie Magnifying Mousse, but I am going to. When I use a magnifying mousse, now remember, this one is for your roots. You spray this only on the roots. This one will be for your strands, and um, I take I mean, a golf ball size, and then I'll run it through my strands. Now, I usually use a mousse foam type volumizer when I'm using Velcro rollers. And that, I'm going to do that. I am going to wear my hair straight, Velcro, my hot rollers, every way that I wear my hair, I'm going to try these products. And then just, now this product here, I really have no interest in trying, but I'm going to because I just am not into this type of look. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it so I can talk about it if any of you are interested in it. And it is the Tossel Texturizing Mist. And that beefy wa beachy wave kind of thing. I'm not into that, but um, you know, many of you are, so I will give it a go. My hair does not react or respond well to those types of products. It makes my hair feel brittle. So we'll see if this product is any different. And we also have some supplements here, and I will start taking those. We have the mask, which I talked about. There's also, 
I'm going to just finish up here. I have just a couple products here to talk about. We have the baby's line, which I'm going to send to my great nephew, Jace. But you know what I think is really nice about this? because And no harsh chemicals, vegan, cruelty free. So if you have a new mom, a, a, a woman who's going to become a new mom, and you need a shower gift, I think this would be great. Especially if she's somebody into earth-friendly products, vegan, gluten-free, all of that. Uh, and wants, and you know she's just going to be one of one, one of those women that wants to pamper her babies. What woman doesn't want to pamper her baby? But if you're doing a little basket or something, I thought this would be great. I actually was trying to think, anybody have a baby that I know? But no, they're all too, way too old. Their eggs are done. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to talk about the Champ, which is dry shampoo. I have to say, you all know, I absolutely despise dry shampoos, hate them. This did not bother me. I tried it uh, the other day, and I wasn't going anywhere, and it did not make my hair feel dirty or scummy. It actually gave it a little bit of a shine and my hair, I could have gone out if I wanted because it looks clean and I only used it on the roots. I didn't use it anywhere else. But I haven't tried it as, you know how sometimes I use a dry shampoo as a, to help me get a good style going when I'm doing like a bun or something. I haven't tried it that way, but I will. Remember, shake their products really well when they're in aerosol just to uh, get the products together again. Then this is another product that I've not used and I'm not sure that I will. I have a friend I may get give this to and ask her what she thinks or maybe this would be too much for Louie. This is the Restyle Instant Sculpting Taffy. I think this will work really well for the woman who wears the shorter hair and really styles it or if you're somebody who likes a slick ponytail to use a product like this. Um, it's just a white taffy type. Uh, I'm not sure if it gives you a matte finish, but it has the Rejuvenique, so I'm sure there's a shine in there. And I think I have touched based on all the products that I have. The website will have a few more products on it. They do have a growth serum that you can buy. Um, they have a couple of different items that I did not get in my kit. But um, I will say right now, I am very impressed with these products. And as I use them, the ones that are disappointments to me, I have no problem coming on here and telling you that they disappointed me. Uh, I am going to always remain honest to myself and to you. I promise you that, okay? Nothing is going to change about me or my channel. Nothing. I'm going to continue on with everything I have ever shown you and this is just going to be another part of it, okay? I did want to recommend you go and watch. This is a subscriber of mine. I didn't even know she had a channel. If you go and you're researching things, uh, her video will pop up. She did it most recently. Her name, her channel name is Life with Lily. She's a beautiful woman. She has beautiful skin and she has vibrant dynamite red hair. And uh, she started using the Monate. She did not buy it from me. So I saw her video and I thought this would be really nice for people to watch because she is not affiliated. She is not a market partner. She was a customer using the products. So I will put her link below. The name of her channel is Life with Lily, L-I-L-L-I-E. Uh, Lily is her dog. Her name is Sheila. And um, I just, I really, I, it made my heart warm to hear her talking about it, not for me, because she didn't buy for me, but for herself. All right, so um, any questions you have, uh, I'm here to answer for you. Uh, I will put the email below that I am answering Monate questions. Uh, also, I didn't touch on the eye. I have stopped using my Revitalash, which you know I absolutely love and is my holy grail, but I stopped using it and I've been using this. I've only used it two nights, no irritation or anything like that, but I will also let you know if this is good enough to replace my Revitalash, which, you know, I don't know. My Revitalash is the bomb. You know it. Uh, so I thank you for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. And don't forget to stop in to Sunday's video. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, my friends, bisous.